this could be aces, obviously. Going to make the call, which I think is pretty standard. Going to float, which is also standard. Going to double float, which I think is standard again, although it's a little bit annoying. Pretty standard spot, I think. I do expect like high frequency check to be a likely answer for my opponent um, on the river, um, but I don't think that like it's the only answer. Um, I think you can bet sometimes with some hands. Seems close. I'm gonna make the peel though. Putting see bet out here in the five k. Pretty standard spot to check, I think. I'm just gonna put out the call. Small bet to turn. Obviously, I think jamming is like natural, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like a very high frequency play for me. This might even be too big. I might maybe should bet a little just like a little bit smaller than this. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I like smaller, and then obviously like sho sho shoving is like an answer that I can definitely choose. My opponent had pocket tens. I'm gonna flat the tens here. Is there an axe? Hopes I win big. Appreciate it. I hope I win big too. That's the quarter pot C bet. I'm gonna make the call. And pretty comfortable making that fold, I think. So open up sevens. I'm gonna put a small C bet out, which I think is fairly standard. Okay. We're gonna lose a lot now, but we're gonna keep barreling also. Lots of ways to lose. Lots of ways to win. I'm just gonna call here. Hope I can get behind shoving. I'll put the check raise out here. Obviously we're gonna get it in pretty dead here. Sometimes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I could see checking this card. I kind of. Like, I mean, yeah, I can see checking this card. King Jack suited in the 5K. Could definitely three bit here. Would be okay with it. I'm gonna keep betting. I don't think this is the way that I want to bluff the river, although I want to bluff the river an awful lot, to be honest. I feel like I have a wide enough double barreling range like not to include this hand, and that kind of sucks, but I just believe that to be true, so. Could be wrong. Could be that 10 takes out enough that I need to bluff with that hand. <clears throat> but I don't I don't know that I believe that, so. Bit here, although I think calling is good. Put out the small C bet, which I think is pretty standard as well. I'm going to check. I don't think betting's bad though. I think this is kind of a big part of how I hear call the river. When he checks, I lose to like nines a lot, but I don't think I can bluff. Um, I also lose to like queen ten suited a lot, but again, I don't think there's much I can do about it. Never, <laughs> never asked why I have four. Why do you have three? Do you know? Genuine question. Why do you have three? Because everybody else has three? It's not a very good answer. There's some like really important reason why you have three. If you if you don't have three and you have two, why do you have two? I don't fucking know. Why don't you have six? I guess it's a big waste of time to say six. Maybe that's why. <clears throat> but yeah, I've no I have no, I have no clue. Alright. Um so the small blind three X is like a pretty standard spot um, for me to call. 
I don't think three bidding hands like some super high frequency player or anything. Um, obviously not raising the flop and mostly just gonna be calling. And I don't think the turn is like really close or anything with this hand. I'm not like jumping up and down about calling, but that doesn't mean that I think I should be folding either. It's a pretty good card for the way that he probably bets the turn. The situation kind of seems like it's deteriorated for me a little bit. I'm thinking about shoving. But I think I'm just going to fold this time. Getting beat up a little bit in the high stakes games. But only a little bit. Not like, it's not going badly at all. It's just, you know, we're down chips and not up chips. We'd rather be up chips. Playing fine though. Like, I'm not worried about it. It's just spots as they come. Sometimes it's, things go well, sometimes they don't. Going to put the stab out. Although I think just losing is fine. It's not like I expect this player to have like a really hard time defending this flop. <clears throat> it's one of the easier ones to defend, but there's some good shit that can happen. Like you could make an eight and that might be a straight, you know, maybe like the eight of diamonds or something. Oh, look. Occasionally this is going to run into a flush. Or a better straight. Or set. Or two pair. Or top pair plus a spade blocker. Or aces plus a spade blocker. Ways to win and ways to lose. We did get called. Bye. We'll find out together. Aces with a spade. Not bad. I think jamming this is good. But I don't think this is a bad answer. <coughs> Steven Chu, just jam with ace-queen. Mm, that's not the best flop in the world. It's also probably not the worst one in the world, but... I think I'm just going to slam, guys. I mean, base-king suited in the 5k as well. Making moves, moving quick. It's an interesting spot to stack the pot ratio, I think. And I am gonna check here. But I could get behind a bet. Going to continue checking, although I don't think betting's bad. Expect to get jammed on here sometimes. Depending on how good this player is. Expect to see basically over bet shove. That's a reasonable answer. <clears throat> not always the answer, it's not the only answer. It's just one of the ones that shows up. Um, I do think checking back the river here is defensible. Obviously my range is like pretty overweight. One pair of hands and air. Which means I should get check jammed on a decent amount. Okay. I should also get called still sometimes, by the way. It's also possible. I'll have variations of this hand with a diamond. I'll have eight King X hands that are similar to this hand that also have a diamond. I think calling that river, mixing that hand to call is probably appropriate. I think mixing that hand to check is also probably appropriate. Everything sucks, guys. I could very easily get behind shoving. Um, problems. Going to be getting bet called by a bunch of draws that fucking beat me. Oh, shit. That's a good turn. Oh, my Lanta. That's a good turn, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think we can afford to have this check through. It's too expensive. Oh, what a bad river. What a bad river. You guys see the river? Look at that river. What's that river? What's that river? Oh, gosh, that was painful. Pretty standard spot to be sea betting. It's a shitty turn. I don't think it translates to like pure check though. Although, this is probably one of the ways that you check a little bit more, if I had to guess. 
So I'm going to check. It's an interesting spot. This sucks. I think I'm going to call, though. I expect my opponent to mostly have me beat, but I think I should be calling, so I'm going to call. Yeah, it's annoying. It is what it is. Jeej, 5k. I don't think Sandwich does much other than call. Pretty good flop. I'm going to put out a small bet. expect to get check jammed on sometimes. Obviously, I'm fine with that. Doesn't really matter with this hand. Oh, it sucks to see ace jack and not some other variation of jack or queen or something. Going to re enter that one. I think checking back the flop's fine. Yeah, I mean, like, I do expect this, but I don't know, I don't know how good this is. Um,. Raise pre, check call flop, lead turn. I'm putting out a two bet, which I think is reasonable. It's a bit wide with this hand. I'm aware of that, but I'm okay with it sometimes. It's a good river. It's going to happen, though. I mean, like, I did two bets a turn with an open ender. Didn't do it with nothing. Going to slam the river. Hope to be put on Queen Jack in hero calls. And then have my opponent be absolutely disgusted that I don't have Queen Jack. I have eight three. I called your three X, three and a half X, I think maybe four X. I don't know something big. Pre flop with eight three suited. Two bet the turn. Ooh, oops, sorry guys. Tens into kings here. Oh, and we smash out a ten. Oh, we're starting to run like we normally do. Oh, I run the best. Let's go, call Alexander. Let's go, Papazi. Just make that call. There we go. Ace 10. Ace 10. Oh, he's disgusted. You know he hates it. You know he hates it. He's like, you suck. That's what he's thinking. He's thinking, you suck. He's like, you're the worst. You know that I had Ace 10 on the turn? You're the worst. And I'm like, I know what you had. I didn't know that you had Ace 10 on the turn, but I know what you had now. Oh, it's so good to run so good. It's so good. Oh, yes. You know there's KO. You know this is a 2K. He's so upset. This is a 2K. $2,000, get the KO, getting paid. It's great. What's up, Parker? Life's good. Okay, guys, what's going on? I am going to keep this one quick. We have got basically part two to the introduction to quantitative strategies. We have got implementing quantitative strategies on bbzpoker.com. This video is going to be a game changer for most people. It's going to help you to learn where you're overfolding flops versus bets, so where you're currently being exploited. It's also going to give you where you can exploit your opponents, where they are most likely overfolding versus bets, and it's going to teach you how to deal with those issues. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Head on over to bbzpoker.com and get this new must-have $14 video right now. I think three betting is good, but... Feels like I have to. I don't like love it or anything, but if it, does, it just feels like I don't have a choice. Not like Parker's gonna let me walk away with this pot, but I don't really feel like. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not surprised by that, but I don't think there's anything I can do about it with like this exact hand. David Yan, good friend of mine, lovely human. Don't lead David. That doesn't even make that much sense. Okay, if we're gonna lead like that. I guess that's fair. It's like, don't lead small. I'm not a huge fan of it. I mean, I'm like tempted to be a believer and shit, but I feel like there's much I can do about being a believer <clears throat> in this spot. Yeah, I'm not surprised by this. David knows what's up. I didn't even mean it's up to fold. That's timed out. Man's pretty good for calling. I have like a bluff catcher that makes sense to call with, obviously. I don't bluff bluffs. I think calling the river is like super defensible. I'm gonna call. I'm good with three betting though. Do you play live 
And how much? Obviously, at the moment, no. But like last year, WSOP, Vegas, and etc. Um, it's a good flop. Yes. So, I'm just gonna call. So as far as live goes, I mean, like, yes, I do play. I'll travel sometimes. There are stops that I really like. I really like PCA. Um, I really like, um, you know, obviously the WSOP main event. I'll go play that. <clears throat> Have I ever grinded, like, a full-length, like, WSOP series? No. Never. I've only ever grinded the main. I don't think I've ever played anything else, actually. And I'm going to call again. Come on, Julian. Julian Thomas. Just slot it in. It's over here. I'm just pretty over this, obviously. Unlucky for Julian. He didn't know that I run better than he does. But you learned very quickly when he flipped his set face up and lost to my set. It's good to be me. Unlucky for Julian. His step player obviously did nothing wrong. It's just super cooler. I expect to get check jammed on here like a fair amount. Check rates like maybe some weird sizing. <clears throat> I think shoving's like pretty defensible. I think I'm just gonna call this one though. Glad I didn't jam. I don't think folding's very good. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think it's very good. I didn't really think about it, and I, and I wouldn't, so. Mm. I'm just going to fold, I guess. I don't know. It seems, it seems annoying. Um. <clears throat> Pretty sure this player opened. I flatted. Small blind overcalled. Um, <clears throat> over it. Shot down these nines. Lose to jacks. Seems fine. It's more likely I win this one. Although it's not a lock because I'm getting called. So. Don't expect to have any fold equity at all, really. Got to win a flip. Good start. Yay! I think it's gonna be tough. To, it's gonna be tough to fold this with like the equity that I'm gonna to need to make the call. Sucks to see that hand. Make a spade would be nice. Sucks. I think with the way that that range is gonna be shaped, it's just too difficult to fold my hand. So I called. Putting in a three bet with King Eight Offsuit. And going to small C bet the flop. Got the tournament life at risk in the 2k. Mm. I think I'm just going to check and lose. Oh, I don't mind double barreling. I think that's very defensible. And I think I'm going to run this with 12 big blinds against whatever this 3-bit range is. It's got ace 2 offsuit right now. Got to win a, got to win a race. And we do not. So we're out of the 2k, which happens. Somebody do something. Somebody do something. Like shove. That'd be great. Shoving would be absolutely phenomenal. Don't know. Don't know what to do? Just jam. That's close. Yours. You could also shove. You could shove too. I'm going to call it this one. Okay, it's a good flop for bet flop at turn shove river. Bet flop, then we catch a six of hearts turn, bet turn, jam the river. That's what we're looking for, ladies and gentlemen. That ain't the six of hearts. I'm not like really disappointed to see that card, but I'm not jumping up and down about it either. It's kind of like, all right, whatever. It's one of those cards. Shove would be pretty sick. I mean, not sick in the bad way, like we would call, but you know. 
It'd be nice if I didn't have to worry about fading, like, you know, a queen or a jack or something. Thank you. There we go. Free standard open. It's not close. Um, I'm going to 4-bet. We're going to see about the flop. <laughs> Pretty standard spot, I think. Going to keep barreling. Hey Jordan, one of those EEG headsets, no clue what the fuck that is, would be cool to wear on the stream. It measures brainwave, alpha, gamma, and delta. Well, all that shit's news to me. Hopefully this guy doesn't have queens. Ugh, he has an ace and a king, guys. Oh, we could do it! We could! It could happen. Oh, it doesn't happen. That's fine. Doesn't happen. That's okay, though. Oh, wait, we're still in it. Well, kind of. Let's go back to this. Um, okay, so what happened here? So, this just got checked down to the river. I raised, he flatted the small blind. Check, check, flop. Check, check, turn, which some people would always bet, but I checked the turn. And now we got to the river. By the way, Josh beat me, heads up. Come on, bluff. Or, like, bet. Like, do something. Put some money out there. Pot. I mean, ace-jack still makes sense. Pretty sure Solver just jams here, but I like the math of this. Ace Jack still makes like perfect sense, but I'm not just calling with this hand against PSB. I think like you know, Ace Jack makes tons of sense. So does King Queen. So does King Ten, to a lesser extent. So does King Jack. Like there's just too too many hands to be like overly intimidated by Ace Jack, even though it makes perfect sense. And my opponent had queen 10. My opponent had queen 10. A thousand's a lot, like a lot, but it's not impossible. Like if you're working super fucking hard and you're at the bottom and you're trying to climb to the top, like that's kind of the point. So let's fade a bunch of outs. We can still do it. There we go. There we go. Like Mr. Money Mustache is like kind of the, the most famous example, but there's, there's like a lot more guys that are, that get like a little bit more technical with it than he does. But yeah, I mean, like, I've, I've, I learned, I studied how to retire because I could do it if I wanted to. So, I thought it was important. But you don't need, in my opinion, you don't need a million dollars. Particularly if you live in Canada. Like, healthcare is like a, is like a, is a very, is like a very, like, volatile expense if you live in the United States. <clears throat> this could be aces, obviously. Ah, fuck, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. I mean, like, ob obviously, like, I was aware that that could be aces a lot. Um, I was also aware that that could be, like, king-queen suited still. I mean, he called kind of quickly for it to be king-queen suited. Ooh, that's really dicey. But, how many big blinds was that? 80 bigs? It doesn't really matter that it's 80, because there's already so much in the middle. Like, at this point in the hand, like, this range... Been annoying. I don't think folding is ever an answer. Um, I think I can call and shove. And I think that this hand, this range includes like all of the stuff that like does really well against tens. So like king queen suited, queen jack suited, ace jack suited, ace queen. I don't really believe this hand. This, this is like going to be ace king a bunch. Um, to be honest, I don't think it's going to be jacks as much. Although I don't think it's going to be jacks never. I don't think it's going to be jacks as much. I don't think it's going to be queens as much either. I just don't. I think that like those hands would raise more. I think it's going to be like aces and kings a lot. I think it's going to be... And then like it's going to be offset by like all of those other hands that he has that like kind of do really well against tens. And like with the price I'm getting and like how much equity I have against this player who jammed, which I'm doing very well against this range, obviously. I elected to shove. And um, like obviously the, the risk is that like this player wakes up with aces, um, which is what happened. So sucks when that happens. But is what it is. Pretty standard. 
Pretty standard spot, open ace jack, get flatted by EP and overcalled by the big blind. Going to check call flop. Which against this sizing seems like the only real answer. I mean, I guess you could you could probably two bet, like a solver might two bet sometimes. Um, I think multi way that's probably like not advised, but wouldn't surprise me if it was like, you know, if, if it was like, oh yeah, it comes in like, you know, some like 13% weight. I'd be like, okay, makes sense. I think I still have to call here. Mostly based on the flop sizing. It kind of sucks because of how strong this range is before the flop, but I still think I'm in a world where I'm not able to fold this hand. But King Queen's like a very big part of this range. I don't really think King 10 is or anything like that. I think Ace Queen is. I think Ace 10 suited probably is. So I can think like he has King Queen offsuit or anything, so I don't really tend to think that. So it's kind of an awkward spot when he jams. Bottom line is it's still cheap. Oh, fuck, this sucks. Yeah, I, don't th I don't think I should fold this hand at this price. It sucks because it's most of my chips, but I still don't think this translates to full decision, so I'm recalling kind of hate life. Yeah, I'll be honest. I didn't really think that that was going to be the hand that I was going to lose to. I did think about aces, but I didn't really think that my opponent would have kings there. Yeah, those bets are just so fucking small. I know that I, like all those chips go in, but I still think that with the bets being as small as they are, it's difficult to fold. Sucks. I had a bunch of chips at one point, then they went away. But it's life. I always thought when you play back, you can't stop after X time when you're still in makeup. You also need some kind of track record when you apply for CFP or backhands when you're starting out. Anyways, thanks again for the valuable information. Yeah, I mean, like you can quit. I mean, like some some staking arrangements might like try to push you to to play it out or whatever, but you can quit. I mean, like if you just like you know I'm done with poker, I'm going to do something else. Like most arrangements will like allow you to just like go work at McDonald's, you know, like, go do something else, go get a job somewhere, doing something. You're not you're not a fucking slave. I have four bigs. I have King Ten offsuit. It seems fine. Jeej, guys. I think. Yes, Jeej. All right. So, thanks very much. I appreciate everybody hanging out. And super comfortable with how I played today. Even in this 5K, the way, the way, the way it ended. I think that I played fine. Yeah, you guys know where to find me. BBZPoker.com. If you're trying to get better at poker, that's where you, where you go. We talked about the rest of it. Make sure you guys are checking out Yargo's stream. And I will see you guys later. Thanks again for the raid, Jamie. And good luck, guys. Bye-bye.